at the last Prince conference that I heard the police were using the excuse of them having to consult with the DPP for their delay in taking certain actions. And the Prime Minister commented on it. And I heard the Prime Minister say to them that it was not necessary for them to, in fact, go to the DPP for instructions before they acted. And that is quite proper, you know. It is not necessary for the police to get instructions from the DPP to take action. That is not necessary. That is not the law. And maybe that is undesirable. What the police should do when they have evidence that a crime has been committed is do the investigation, investigate it thoroughly. And if they are satisfied that the offense has been committed, then they should charge the person. Once they have charged a person and it's an indictable offense which needs to be tried in the Supreme Court, the file ultimately must go to the DPP because it's the Director of Public Prosecution's Office who marshal prosecution in the Supreme Court. See, So really and truly, the responsibility of the DPP is to marshal the prosecution. They perform in the court. They bring the case against the person in court, they are the ones who do the work in the court to try to get a conviction. But, if there is a but it is not their responsibility to, it's not the responsibility of the DPP to give instructions with respect to arrests and charge. That is the responsibility of the police. It is always good for there to be a cordial relationship between the two branches because the DPP, if after receiving a file, decides that more investigation needs to be done on this file to ensure a conviction, they have got to refer to the police, and the police have got to do the work. So to that extent, they work together. But only to that extent. It is not their responsibility, however, to seek permission from the DPP to charge anybody.